Added for six months by the Ombudsman. More details from One News Cebu Desk and the Freeman Editor, Dale Israel. Dale, ano balita dyan? Yes, uh, may nga po ni Ed Patrick, Ami, and Ronald. Well, I, um, Mayor Rama was, uh, uh, I mean, the Ombudsman ordered for six months prevent, prevent suspension against the city mayor. And uh, let's put this uh, the context for it and chronology of the event. Hmm. that happened prior to the issuance. The complaint was filed by four employees from the city editor's office who were reassigned to what they called lower position compared to their original jobs. Now, the reassignment was made on May 2023. The four employees contested the reassignment and they sought help from the Civil Service Commission, which later on ruled in their favor and they be reinstated. But the city administration, however, made an appeal and it was denied again by the CSC. And despite that, the four employees were not reinstated to their original position. And that is why they filed a case at the besides Ombudsman or sometime in February. The case was later on elevated to the Ombudsman main office in Manila and now comes a suspension order uh, yesterday. Now we are here right now at the Cebu City Hall to get a clear picture of the atmosphere here. It's business as usual at the Cebu City Hall and the officers are functioning and people are con uh, continue with the transactions here. And uh, we are seeing right now a preparation for a uh, mass, our holy mass, to be attended by Mayor Rama and uh, his supporters right in front of the, of the uh, city hall ground. Okay, Dale, is uh, Mayor Rama yielding the office of the mayor? Um, or is he questioning the suspension order? Mayor Rama has not yet uh, clearly stated what he is planning to do. But uh, what we know so far is that the order has not been uh, served yet at the, at the office of the mayor. We were staying okay. all morning at the uh, office of the mayor. Thank you. Adin, may iba ba bang kaso na nakasalang kay Mayor Rama para kung sakaling pwedeng ma-extend pa yung six months or may iba pang mga malalang kaso? Usually kasi maraming kaso yung sinasampa sa mga local officials. Eh. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, what we know is that uh, there is a case and also at the Ombudsman and the Office of the President or a separate case from the Metro Cebu Water District okay. and uh, there's also another case from the uh, Cebu Ports Authority. It's another case, the Office of the President and uh, the, um, at the uh, Ombudsman. Dil, itong ano, itong, uh, itong uh, kaso ng tatlong, uh, tatlong empleyado, could you give us a bit of a background no, no. On, on, on this mm. case? Kasi nilipat lang sila, di ba? Eh, hindi naman sila sinibak. They were transferred uh, to a different position and hindi naman regular ng, ano, ng, ng kaso. Uh, ano kasing transfer ito? Uh, saan sila binaba? Kasi parang from the transfer alone, mabut sa six, six months suspension eh. Parang nakagulat lang. They were actually, yeah, they were actually at uh, the technical positions, they are tax mappers mm -hmm. yeah. at the city assessor's office, and now the other, the, the, they were transferred to different offices like uh, the, the environment office, like uh, the one in the, at the South Road property uh, management, which is not really their expertise, are not connected to the expertise that they were assigned to at the assessor's office. And they believe that it was a uh, demotion on their part, and they later on uh, appealed. But and then they did not receive salary. Their their names were were uh, stricken out of the payroll system. Okay, tell ito bang uh, vice mayor ni Mayor Rama e eh, kapartido niya o yun? Kalaban. Well, yeah. Kalaban. If the if the no, actually they're still allies at them. Uh, okay. They're allies. They run together and then uh, Cebu City Mayor Vice Mayor Raymond Garcia said. Uh, he said that he still, uh, he was also in shock. We had an uh, entire conversation with him and uh, he said he was in shock of the suspension order. And he spoke to Mayor Rama this morning and they said, I come on the phone and talked about the case. But take note that Raymond Garcia is the uh, nephew of Governor Juan sure. Garcia, who is at odds with Mayor Rama on various issues here, including the PRP, the NCWD, and the Cebu Port Authority. Ay, at saka, Dale, alam mo naman, it's hard to, to, to assume, ano? pero si Governor Garcia, is, are they still in the same political camp as Vice, Vice Mayor Garcia? Uh, we know that they're related, but are they on the same political side? No, they're actually on a different camp because uh, Governor Garcia is, uh, is with one Cebu party and uh, Raymond Garcia and uh, Mike Rama ran under the PDP Laban. Okay. 
Dale, so wala pang movement ngayon diyan sa City Hall kasi hindi pa nga nakukuha ni Mayor yung ano eh, yung, yung suspension order and it's a preventive suspension. Can he appeal that? Medyo matagal-tagal yung six months, tatamahan na siya baka eh, nag-uumpisa na ang ano ngayon ang mga preparations for the campaign for the local elections. Ma-apekto ka niya ni si Going to Appeal, would you know? Saka ano, status quo ngayon dyan sa City Hall. But what we saw on the document, uh, the, the document from the Ombudsman, is that it's the executory, despite mm. even if the mayor will file appeals. So I guess yes. um, we're just waiting for the DILG to, to, to implement that order. Mm. Okay. Okay. Baka mag-rally din dyan sila Digong, katulad ng ginawa nila sa <laughs> Dabao del Norte. <laughs> Yeah, well, Mayor Ram is the only mayor that attended the gatherings of the third, the one in February, yes. and the second one <laughs> last month in April at the North Star Hotel in Cebu. Well, That's what we want to ask you <laughs> in a bit. But <laughs> meantime, yes. Dale Israel, maraming salamat. Mm. Uh, Thank you, Dale. Okay, salamat.